Right, so oftentimes uh, many of our clients tend to be on the business and the mission side, so kind of business mm -hmm. processes that are heavily reliant as, as most most businesses are these days on uh, Those some data form. heroes that Gary talks about, right? right? Yeah. Te technology enablement. So, so we usually start at the at the business process first. And I mean, if you think about it, there's lots of old systems in government, but right, if you've got a 40 year old system, you probably have 50 year old <laughs> processes. <laughs> so the way we look at it is, um, don't just modernize the systems. Modern because oftentimes processes were developed because of system limitations and things like that. So and there's just a lot of inherent sort of out-of-the-box benefits you're going to get from new technology. So, so what we look at is say, you know, what can you get just free because of the, the benefits of new technology, but also what would you do differently? Because oftentimes if you just take a system and say, we're going to replatform it or move it to the cloud, you're still not going to get a lot of the, the native benefits um, of a cloud-based system. So oftentimes, and it's more difficult too. So if you have a really complex system in a mainframe or something like that, that that's really difficult. So what we do is we plan it out and say, how would you modernize and change your business systems and business processes and modularize that? And so you might have sort of one big mainframe system that'll end up as 10 or 12 modules in, in a future state. Right, sort of 